really good. Oh, Great. Yes. Really lovely. Really good. Um, listen, I want to start with a piece of trivia because I think it's just so cool. Um, in the first couple of bars, uh, there is a Tristan chord hidden. Do you know where? Um, Bar 11 and a half. Can we just play that? So he was just one half step away from eternity. Um, interesting thing is, this piece is written in 1815, Düsseldorf. And Tristan was composed in, well, it was first premiered in 1858. Yeah? So he was even earlier. And I love this idea that there are certain ideas and concepts and philosophies in the air at the same time. We know that about um, Darwin's theory, that you know, a couple of hundred kilometers away, um, another guy was, was actually um, creating a similar theory. Yeah? And Darwin actually stole, stole some parts of that. But I think he acknowledged him as well. Um, same thing with, with Einstein's um, relativity theory. There are just, in, at a certain time, there are certain things in the air that need to happen. Yeah? And, and some people just channel that. And, and Schumann channeled it in this crazy little Konzertstück that he, that he had um, thought would be fun to compose. Because he had no real cellist in mind. I mean, you know, he, he just thought one day, okay, I'm now music director in Düsseldorf, I'm elated, I'm really happy, I'm gonna write for an instrument that nobody really writes for, so the cello, why not? You know? And nobody could play with the tempo that he suggested, which is, no, he suggested 150. And then at Bockmühl, with whom he was in correspondence, he said 92, tops. Yeah? And so Schumann said, well, let's meet in the middle, 130. You know? And we think 130 is fast, but 150, it's a race car, yeah? Why do you think he wanted this fast tempo? Which concerto do you think he wanted to, to sort of model after? Uh, for the cello? Yeah. Um, Who was his big hero? Schumann for the cello? Hmm. Well, later it became Brahms, mm. but before that it was Mendelssohn, mm. yeah? And of course, the Mendelssohn concerto. We take the Mendelssohn Concerto uh, not at 150, but at 90. Oh, yeah, the Schumann Concerto is so melancholic and all that. No, actually, it's very unrestful in his conception of what's written. Mm -hmm. The reason why I bring up the Tristan chord is, is you resolve so much on, on this note that I totally lose tension altogether. But actually, if we could um, have that um, 11 and a half. Actually, this is, is this a dom dominante to, 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 to the, yeah? But he continues differently, of course, yeah? Be careful with your resolutions. They are, in general, so overly done that, um, like, for example, um, as you can hear in the resonance, I only hear the C instead of. Yeah, I need to. I need to give. I need to resolve to relax, but I don't want you to disappear. Sure. Yeah, that would be that would be great if we can just sort of keep that in mind in, in general for for what is to come. Let's go again from the top. On this, on the second, second bar. Um, why does he put it there? Um, I don't know. I guess um, 
I'm not, I'm not choosing to interact with it as like a really hard task. No, for sure not. But, um, for sure not. Yeah. What is the tonality that we're in? Um, a minor. A minor, exactly. And then if we come to an A, usually we would say, okay, this um, this has the, the sort of quinta, so so this is this is stronger. Yeah, but he doesn't want any. If we do the original bowing, it is essential that we have. Um, yeah. Why not do the original bowing? Sure. Yeah. It's it's fun, it's fun, and and uh, you know by by dividing the balls, already we are establishing a slower tempo. Yeah. Why is Clara in love with Johannes? Why? <laughs> this guy had problems, man. <laughs> it's like domestic stuff, you know, like. Want coffee too much? To, to uh, make a sentence, um, what, what is that? With what with what conjunction is that? Uh, with what word is that connected? You um, know what I mean? Is it like and or but or whether or? Uh, um, yeah. Probably but. Yeah, but or however or. Or therefore, yeah, something that that sort of explains further, or or counter arguments further what you've said, but not not a full stop and be like um, on another note, you know, no, 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 we are still within our argument and still within within the the sort of the thesis of the whole thing, yeah, yeah. So let's not um, let's not interrupt the thought too early in order to move on to other things, yeah. Mm. Because argument one, argument two, and also argument three. Therefore, what should I do? Yeah, this, this, this. Um, it's like a. What? What now? You are, and there comes Florestan. It's like, come on, man, don't be. Or oh, Xavier, don't be so. <laughs> don't be so depressed. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about Florestan and Eusebius, no? No, no. Oh, really? No, oh, fantastic. Okay. So Schumann had this whole zoo in his head yeah, of, of different um, figurines. And two of the most prominent ones were Florestan and Eusebius. And one of them was uh, very poetic, very, very doubtful also, which is perfect for the beginning of the first, first theme. And then. Then the, the other character is 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 a fire character. Yeah, so there is a character that that uh, really puts his foot down and is like you know head through the wall kind of kind of character. And, and it's fantastic because he you know he was a very compartmentalized mind, um, or let's say let's say a very divided mind, and he was able to to personify that with these different figures. There is many more, by the way. Yeah, we we we, we always sort of concentrate on these two antagonists, but there is quite a few more, and you should, you should read up about them, because yeah. it's, a, it's actually amazing how, uh, how, he, how he sort of psychoanalyzed himself before Simon Freud, <laughs> yeah, and, and just sort of putting, putting different characters to different, different moods of his, yeah, mood swings, yeah. and then, you know, he would, he would find himself one day in the one character and one day in the other. Like we do as well, right? I mean, you wake up and you're like, oh my god, like today. But he, he sort of put a name on it, yeah? And here we have a clear dialogue between the two, yeah? Because we have the doubtful soul. It's like clear, um, clear uh, antagonism against it, yeah? What kind of songs, Schumann songs, are you listening to at the moment? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I, 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 I'm so happy for you because that's what you will do for the next month. Yeah. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, today, actually, yeah. They were saying the shaver sounds bad. Yeah, close. But, yeah. Close. But, but, um, but Schubert songs, I mean, I'm speaking in, in terribly general terms here, but I, I always find that they are sort of a perfect entity in themselves in, in sort of a celestial, in a celestial capacity. And, and Schumann um, is very much, a, I found, a creature of, of the doubtful earth. Mm. Yeah? Like, what to do? Yeah. Um, Paul de la Rive, can you do all these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you should. Because yeah, yeah. you know why? They are an instruction manual for this music, right? Like, we, we always look for interpretation, and we look for how to find our own voice. And all we need to do is read the fucking manual, man. <laughs> and that is listening to his songs. Yeah? Yeah. Listening, listening to the chamber music. Have you played uh, some of the trios, maybe, or uh, um, quintet quartet? No, I haven't played any trio quartet music. Mm, yeah. mm. I'm so happy for you, because that's what you will do mm -hmm. this next month, yeah? yeah. Great. Yeah. Again, the instruction manual. Um, also, what is, what is amazing, he gives us an instruction manual with the Fünf Stücke Volksbom, the Volksbom pieces. Because they have the same tonality, right? We have, um, and then we have, um, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the second one? Uh, the Duxo one. Black and white. Yeah, exactly, thank you. Um, thank you very much. Yeah? Um, so um, that that is is also part of um, yeah, the third, we have the same tonality there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, we can we can take we can take from Schumann and apply and gather gather more information. Yeah, um, this is a complicated piece, but with the help of Schumann's music, we can come closer. Yeah, and only through that I find. Okay. Okay. He makes it very clear. There's one bow, and this is where I want the heavy part of the bow to be. Right? Instinctual, you're absolutely correct. Leading off to resolution. Yeah? But he, he didn't want it. a feeling that, that he is projecting something, yeah? And even, even if we come to the, you know, to, to softer notes, there always needs to be a laser that goes through, yeah? A laser that reaches the other. the two fortes here, right? Yeah. I don't think they should be shortened. What you should do instead of traveling early is preparing early. So I think it's really a matter of getting the elbow ready when you play the C. Tuck, and I'm here. Yeah? Not none of that, yeah? But actually Preparation is everything. And then, once you have the, the elbow in place, I mean, it's really just maybe two centimeters that I'm moving here, yeah? Tuck, the, the, the fingers fall the last, yeah? However, what I see is that you still have to jump up. So, so maybe the, the, um, the best way to find out my 
if I if I hold oh, yeah. your arm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, play the B. Oh, yes, exactly. So this is the position that we need to get into, right? Okay. Now go back to the C, and I'm going to hold this. Yeah, exactly. So in the end, this will be exactly the position where you need to be before you launch, yeah. right? So so it's it's a it's a perfect way of analyzing. Just this is where I want to go. So. Then, then you, then the hand moves last. Yeah. And this, the position really can can sort of be prepared in the last seconds, so that you have full quality here. And then, yeah. you don't need to to sort of stay static. Let's let's stay with great quality. Zack. change of position should not occur on the cusp of the previous note, mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah? So, do, 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 none, none of that. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go again from which you play brilliantly. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, I mean, if, if everything was possible to fix in one go, I'd save a lot of time, man. <laughs> but I still sit down you know, every day, four, five, six hours, because it's not done in one go. Yeah. Don't worry, it's fine. to go from A to B, <laughs> quite, quite literally, well, from E to B. Um, but um, I wonder if these first, uh, at least two, no? You already have some sort of cantabile in them. Because we have, we have two counter arguments, right? Um, I mean, again, here, there, there is the softer character of the two. It's like, come on, man. The and then the question is, what do we do with this? Is this actually convincing even more that to chill out? Or is it, or is it even like, like I resign? Some, it can be whatever. But it needs to sort of be a counter argument to, to the fiery character that we had before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This dialogue situation is something that fascinates me. Yeah? And you find this very much on the first page in, in this concerto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's go from here. Ah, dead, dead notes. Uh, what are the words? Uh, make some words up in English or make some, uh, some up in German. For, for the exam. For, for, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, um, okay. <laughs> Why? How does that relate to what you what you had before? What, so if you want to get the coffee, what what was that before then? Um, that was just waking up really angry and tired. <laughs> okay, so a yawn is a silent scream for coffee. Is that what you say? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I, I hear you. Um, Yeah, okay. Um, let's, let's see. I, 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 would, I would say... Um, so, komm doch mal zur Ruhe. Yeah? Um, please, please quiet down. That, that would be my argument. Yeah? Uh, nothing against coffee. I, I think, you know, to each their own. But, so, uh, komm doch mal zur Ruhe. Yeah? If, I, if I find words, and I've, if I find um, um, syllables that work well in, 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 in the mouth, Shall we say, yeah? Then, then I feel I can so calm, yeah. So I have a so calm yeah? instead of so calm, dog mat. So calm, dog mat. Yeah. Could also be something else. 
Ich möchte endlich schlafen. Yeah, I want to finally sleep. Yeah, so that would be like, ich möchte endlich schlafen. Yeah, completely different. Yeah? Um, you know, Schumann, he wanted to become a poet before he became really a man of music. Yeah, that was when he was a teenager, he was writing poetry. Not very good poetry, by the way, I, in my opinion. But you know, who am I to judge? I don't know anything about poetry. Um, but his music comes from, from words. That is sort of where, where the music is born. Yeah? And if you find words that relate to you, in this case, coffee, then maybe you find something more meaningful in the pursuit of words in the next weeks. Then you find a, a, an inner connection through, through language. And, and that journey I find interesting, yeah? Because of course we, we are looking for, for our own personal connection with the music, and in this case I think it's words. It's finding sentences, it's finding something that, yeah, feels good in the mouth. And, okay, long story short, let's go again from Paul to Beautiful. I love that you are being doubtful. Oh, let's not forget. Too much? Too little sound. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Because it is a concerto in the end. It is not the Schumann Sonata. Right? And we forget because we have the most sensitive orchestras with us and that, that are willing to do all the weird rubatos with us. But let's not forget. Yeah. He, she or he has not finished rehearsing the symphony. There's half a rehearsal. There are 80 musicians that think they can do the job in front much better than you. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. At least 80%. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes what you hear in the cafeteria, uh, you know, I leave my door open sometimes. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have a situation where, where, yes, let's be sensitive, but let's not forget who is the solo voice. Hmm? Same thing. Same thing. No, no, actually, that, that, was, all, that was all great. That was all great. Um, um, let's go from here. that you come from, it's basically a, a, a minor um, with, uh, with, a, with a leading also with a seven minor. And then we change, exactly, if you don't leave any substance, the change is happening without us, yeah? So we need to keep the note going in order for, it's, it's so fascinating to have a note, and it comes, it comes at a, a minor, and it leaves in D minor, but it's still the same note. So of course it will not be the same note, because we um, have sort of an innocent A minor sound, and then D minor. It's maybe a little bit more complex in its, in its, in its texture, no? Uh, so yeah, if you disappear completely, um, also, the chord has nothing to push against, right? Like, by setting, by setting this note with a little bit more substance, um, the orchestra actually needs to push through you in order to get to that new tonality. And that's actually quite nice, yeah? Um, in Elgar, there's a, there's, a, there's a situation where the, where the clarinet is moving through me. If I don't give resistance, then the, the clarinet has nothing to work against. Yeah? Yeah. And I like that. I like that. 
sort of pushing against each other. Yeah? Long story short, please not disappear too much. Um, that's a good idea, yeah. It's weird because it's the middle of the bar. Let's start from there. Let's start from there, from the top. Maybe that is not necessary, yeah? I think what you did was good before you, 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 you were phrasing away. But just give, give me enough substance so I actually hear the note, yeah? yeah? But I don't think that the D, well, it could be, it could be that the D minor actually elevates it, but maybe not with an accent. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of, of, of that, yeah. Let's go for me. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, in the Peters edition, um, uh, they, which is, I don't think is from Schumann, but they put a mezzo forte on that last note in order to avoid which would be sort of the instrumental inclination. And the, if I had longer hair, then it would wiggle nicely, and then so something like that. But I think is um, that's the, the surprise, yeah? Um, so um, it's, it's a good hint from, 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 from Metznacher to this yeah. edition, yeah? Um, what edition do you play from? Um, the Breitkopf. The Breitkopf, yeah, wonderful, yeah. With, with Heinrich's markings, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah wonderful. Yeah. It's a great edition. Um, the print in the Peters is better. Yeah. Just from the picture. And, and uh, just the layout, I think, is a little bit more satisfying. But, but the information that you get from Schick's edition is marvelous. Yeah, yeah. Also, the, the, the commentary is heavy. It's really top notch. Yeah? Um, just to say, yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah. That would be great. Yoro Yoro, which was great now. I really liked it. Yeah. 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 It doesn't mean that, again, don't disappear. Yeah. There's a difference between just, just staying calm and, and sort of vanishing. But certainly, the sentence is going to the end. Yes, uh, that's not what, what, what I mean. Yeah. Und so frage ich mich, was willst du eigentlich? Ja. Nun so frage ich mich, was? No, we want to hear the, 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 the syllables, no? Just not, und so frage ich mich. Yeah, genau. Ja, yeah, good, good, good. of this part? I'm just, just waiting to the... To the um, yeah, yeah. I like a really long update. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a beautiful, beautiful thought. Um, I would like to add to that that it could also be a transformation, mm. right? Because what do we come from? So instead of Schumann just going, how he does later. 
it's like, I'm going to skip that transformation. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm already there in, 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 uh, in, in, in my pursuit. But here, we have a transformation through the whole thing. I'm still very much in, influenced by what I, I heard. I'm getting doubtful. Super stressful for me now, yeah. But I, I start on the vault and then da 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 It's a whole another universe, yeah. And it's that sort of transition that you go through that makes the notes um, suddenly we get these four alto, yeah, which is the essence of romanticism. Um, it's it's taking the most beautiful detour. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if 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 I were to compose this, since I'm a terrible composer, I would just like play. <laughs> this is like oh, this is beautiful. Ah, oh, this rose. Ah, beautiful cow. Fantastic. <laughs> He's never gonna get you know, from Munich to Genova, like that, you know, he's just, maybe to Garmisch, you know. In a way, it's, it's like being, being wonderfully distracted by all these things, yeah? So, the, up, the idea of having a big upbeat is a little bit too driven for me. I would want you to come from energy A to energy B, and yeah, this is sort of transport. Cool, man. Um, maybe we can have a little bit of inspiration before. <laughs> ah, interesting. Okay, so your transformation happened in these uh, first five notes, so but then you transformed back. You said, like, "Oh, I don't want to go there. Like, I, I, I don't want to go to this." Place of intimacy. Can you stay a little bit stronger? Um, a little bit here, and then maybe in this appoggiatura, suddenly we click the switch. Man, you're losing me already. In a way, you're doing all the transformation already here on the first note. Yeah. Right? Right? No, let's stay strong. Of the piano, right? On the, um... Yeah, but and this is of course my own theory, and you can chuck it in the trash as soon as you leave, if you want. Um, I sometimes think, in, in sort of a slower context, that the forte piano can also be under a whole slur. Right? So actually, a forte piano, the speed of a forte piano is not defined by right. Something like that. Yeah, and then he blooms with, with a nice, nice hairpin yeah. at the end. Yeah? Um, yeah, think about that. The, 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 the decay of a forte piano is, I think, the, dictated by its surrounding. Yeah? Same as a sforzato in piano or sforzato in fortissimo. It's, it's a completely different thing. One more time, please. Can I try that again? Sure, sure. Well, listen, I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not getting fixed quickly, and it's, it's also something that you need to decide if you want that, yeah? If, if you want to stick to the idea of the upbeat, I have nothing against it, and, and, and the audience will appreciate it very much. I just wanted to give you an alternative spin on that, yeah? Do it one more time, and then we'll do the changeover. Imagine me, the bad composer, would have written and then maybe 
to me that is a better composer than I. And Schumann, in his genius, can reach this far. Yeah. Again, it's 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 the vocalization of distance. It is it is that seventh not to be taken for granted. And it, you can you can understand it best when you sing it. Da -da 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 I mean, I'm a terrible singer, as you can hear. Um, but the 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 reach that my that my voice has to make, I can feel it physically. The little Adam's apple has to go like, whoop, you know. And it's it's something. Still, I feel that there is a movement here. Yeah. And of course, in in in, in the genius cello playing, it's just one 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 shift away or one, one shift of string away. So then just to, to train the ear. And then once we, we decide, okay, this is the time it needs. Um, I would love to continue working on this piece. Oh, no, well. no, no. There are other people looking, but it was great to hear you again. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks so much, Paul.